Okay, let's get this started. I'm trying to speak louder so you guys can hear me because I do have a, a shitty webcam and microphone. But um, this is a video response, but it's also on a completely different topic that I wanted to do a video about. I was thinking about doing it once the AC um, transit bus thing died down, but I figure I can incorporate it in this video. Um, when I checked my YouTube channel today, I saw that I had a few comments on my videos, and I also had a video response, which I was a little excited about because, you know, I'm just glad that people are listening to what I have to say, regardless of if it's if you agree or don't agree. Just to be able to exercise the freedom of speech freely, as long as I'm not, you know, promoting hate crimes or any type of violence, that that feels really good to be able to do that. Now, this person did a video response to a video response I did um, on someone who I call Peter, who did very, in my opinion, semi-racist um, response to the AC Transit. <coughs> now, when this person, first off, you know, he tried to speak on my shitty webcam, which has nothing to do with it at all. If you actually have seen some of my videos, I do speak on it a lot. He agrees with what I said about the, the two men on the bus because they were just two men who happened to be of two different races and people are making it about race, which is what I spoke on. Then he goes to say how um, I mentioned slavery and no one said anything about slavery. Um, someone must have said something. Why would I just bring that up? And I was speaking on comments that I read and things that people said. Then he wanted to correct me on when slavery actually ended. 18 whatever no slavery didn't end then the traditional slavery may have ended but black people were forced to continue to do the same things to keep a roof over their head to keep food in their stomachs to continue to take care of their kids we we just what 1960s they were still fighting for for rights and slowly we gained them but it's still all a part of the same thing which is what i was speaking on and I never said check your history. Never, never, never said that. Because when I speak, I'm speaking on things from my understanding, you know, based on. I'm not going to be 100% correct because I'm not a scholar. I'm not a teacher. But we've all been taught things about history that's just common knowledge. Exact dates and time was kind of sort of irrelevant to what I was talking about. Oh, and another thing that um, he mentioned that I said, I spoke on the eldest member of my family who passed. I never said she was a slave. What I said was she, she was close to it. And regardless of when it happens, when you find out about it, it hurts you. When you find out that anyone went through any kind of pain for no reason out of hate and selfishness, it hurts you. I know a, more than a few white people who get in your face and try to kick your butt over it before I will, because pain is pain, regardless of race. Then he went on, calling me all kind of bitches, and um, I need to read a book where I get my assistance from. Well, Peter, number two, you know, let me know where your mother got her assistance from, you know, and then that'll maybe help me a little bit, and um, I can get that free government money that she was getting, but anyway, Back to the why white people can't say nigger. Because it's crazy how you guys don't understand this. And I've said this in comments, and I'm just putting it in this video. It's like you've loving your mother to death, and she dies horribly. And someone knows this. You've cried on that person's shoulders. They've seen your pain firsthand, but whenever they get mad at you, they say, fuck that stupid bitch. It's like that. If slavery is done and over with, why use words to continue to bring it up? There are plenty of things you can say about a person to hurt them or to disrespect them before putting their race in it. Because that's when it does become a racist thing. And that's when it's not just a conflict between you and that one person. Now it's a conflict between as many other people that want to take your side and as many other people that want to take that person's side. I'm not going to say race because not everyone participates in that kind of nonsense I know I'm not one of them and that's that's just it you know if we need to cut out the n-word period including black people saying nigga and all of that myself included then that's what we need to do because we cannot deny 
deny the impact that it has on people. And you can't deny the reason why you use it. If you really feel like it's nothing, it's a word, slavery is over, it doesn't matter anymore, then why even use the word? I've only heard that word being spoken, well, never spoken to me, but messaged to me when someone is angry. Because they're trying to hurt me, and that in itself is wrong, trying to bash someone. It's, it's all a big mess, and it's never going to be resolved until we start taking responsibility for ourselves. I say some wrong things. I've cussed out a few people on YouTube through little texts, MySpace, and whatever. I own up to that, and yes, that, that was wrong, and I'm trying to slow down on that. Because we are all people, and we need to learn how to control our anger. And how can I sit here and tell you to not do something or to not be a certain way, and I'm not making the effort to do so myself? Hopefully, you understand that. Because all I've ever spoke about, you know, when I have spoke about topic in my videos, is people are just people. I said in that last video, Peter number two tried to say was bullshit that, you know, our outer appearance is just a package. Just like any product you may buy from the store, they change their packages quite often. But when you open it up, it's still what it is. I refer to a bag of Oreo cookies. When you open up the package, there's still Oreo cookies in it. Even though the package may be different, it may be a different color, it may be a different shape, it may be a different size. It is what it is. We are all still people. And you cannot act like what happened doesn't matter because it does. But we as people also do not need to dwell on it. We need to be able to control ourselves to not get so mad and so upset to where we do something crazy. But it goes both ways. It's a team effort. Both races, all races have to do it because we're not just the only race here in America. We're not. And they're sitting back looking like these people crazy because they get discriminated against also. Asians get discriminated against. Mexicans get discriminated against. But it's not as publicized because everybody's like, forget them. We're all just people who come from a different place. And I personally do not discriminate. You know, I grew up. Well, I went to elementary school in Hesperia, California. Hesperia is like the inside of a white woman's vagina. Don't take it the wrong way. The only black kid in every class went back to Detroit. Detroit is like the inside of a, <laughs> well, no. Detroit was where I stayed was predominantly black, and that's where I experienced the most racism from my own people, but that's another topic. Then I moved to Birmingham, Alabama, and the area I stayed in was like the inside of a black woman's vagina. We only had maybe two black, two white kids in the whole school, but it was no problem. I've lived around different kinds of black people, different, you know, white white people, um, stayed in Long Beach around some Mexican. I mean, I'm a very diverse person. I don't discriminate against people, but wrong is wrong, and that's what I speak on. If I was incorrect about my information, Peter number two, about slavery, I apologize then. But that wasn't the point of the video. People try to, people watch videos just to point out something to talk about. When I did that video response against Peter number one, I watched it all the way through. He said a couple of things, three or four things, which prompt me to do a video response. It wasn't just the first thing he said, oh, no, I'm against it. I actually listened to it. I actually watched it, and I felt a need to respond to it. But if we're going to have a little YouTube battle, that's fine, because I have a lot more knowledge than you actually think I do. And regardless of my webcam, you know, whatever TD video you claim you like, the color of my skin, whether or not you think I'm on assistance or not, does not take away from any positive thing you can take from my video. Because I'm not here to bash anyone. I'm all about positivity and unity among the human race. Period. I believe in Jesus Christ. He believed in love, and that's what I believe in. Later, Gators.